Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. Sorry that I haven't been posting, I've gotten busy with some stuff. Today we've started a new map, this is the Ashton Corners map, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so right now this is the farm that we own, let me quickly. This is the farm, house, station wagon shed, grain silo, barn. Dry shed, and then a, another barn where the bottom parts for cattle and the top parts where you can park, park light equipment. But anyway, we're here. I've got some wheat to get harvesting with a new mod that I've downloaded. I have, I used to have three different types of this mod of the 14 series international combines, but I decided to de delete one that, well, wasn't really good. So, here we are with a 1460 International with some floater, well, with some wide back wheels. One thing I don't get is that the fan piece over here, how come in the later models when case, J.I. Case bought, well, J.I.'s Case formed into International Harvester and then Stagger came along, how, how come this was moved to there, then it was moved back to here, and I think nowadays it's still at the back there. If you asked me, I think it would look cool if it was back there. I don't know. It would look a lot like a 66. But yeah, let's get to harvesting. So let's get fired up. Right? This is a quick cab inside. Got my grain truck over there, which is also an international harvester. And let's fire it up. So, if you're wondering about where I got this 14 Series International Harvester mod, I got it at a, well, what I did, because I was looking for old-fashioned type harvesters like this, or a John Deere 7700, or an 8820, or a New Holland, I searched up FS22 Old Harvester, well, Old Harvesting Equipment Mods, and something will pop up. It does have a picture of this combine on the front but well when you go into the website it's got a dealership with a bunch of international harvester 86 tractors but anyway this is an edit of a, another combine because there is the first combine mod which to be honest i didn't really like the header because usually when i see these combines an option there's usually a white header but the usual ones that i get are just wide enough that there's no crops going to get run over by the combine. But I got that. And then, of course, there was a unzip things mod. So I had to open the file and bring over, bring everything over, including the headers. Which, if you go in to here and go over to headers, they have two different sizes. So if I can find it... Right here. So, yeah, it sucks that's made by a lizard. That's a really weird thing. So you've got 15 foot, which would fit the wideness of the combine. Then you've got the 20 foot, which I've got attached. And then, for corn heads, because I'll mostly be doing corn, I picked this one, which, at first it looks like something that a 60, well, a 14 series combine would have. Still, like, a 14 series but it was more of this. This looks like um, a 66 or an 88 combine that Case IAH later made. But either way, it's a cool mod. You've got exact same prices for these headers. 
And then the Combine's price is, I'm pretty sure, 80000 If you look here, there's another one that I've got that came with this pack, which has 2100 1600 and your 1400 But yeah, that one's 100000 which is unbelievable. I didn't have another one that cost 20000 That one was the one that I got rid of. But here it is. 80,000. You've got different conversions of engines. You got 1420, 1440, 1460, and 1480. Yeah, that's it. You've got different wheel designs. Wheel companies, really. Then you've got wheel types. So right now it's a four-wheel drive. You make it a two-wheel drive with those tires. Another four-wheel drive with wide tires. Then you got a two-wheel drive, which is basically what I did. Then you've got short pipe, long pipe. And then if you want to, you can put on a license plate. Yeah. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.